Okay, put your hands up. If you're not 18 yet, put your hands up. There we go. We've got the church full of kids today. Do you know what we do today? Anybody want to take a guess? Any one of the kids, what is today? We start Sunday school, that's right. And does anybody know what our Sunday school theme is this year? Well, that's okay, because you haven't got to Sunday school yet. So I'll tell you. Our theme this year is from the Psalms, from Psalm 119, where it says, Your word, O Lord, is a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. Okay? So we're talking about the word of the Lord and how it shines light into our minds, into our hearts, and not just for what we think about, but for what we do, because it says, your word is a lamp to my feet. Your feet are kind of physical things. You stomp them. They make noise, right? You walk on them and a light to my path. So it shows us how we walk where we go, the things that we hear from the Lord. So that's a good thing for a Sunday school theme, right? Because we come to Sunday school to hear what? What do you think? Maybe the Word of God in general, right? We come to church to hear the Word of God, and Sunday school especially, we talk to the kids with the Word of the Lord. So we're talking about how the Word of God guides us on our path, shows us how we are supposed to walk, how to live, how we go. So you're going to see some things that are a little bit different in Sunday school this year, kids, because we're going to make sure to start with some prayers and end with a little bit of Scripture. And it'll be the same bit of Scripture every time, so hopefully by the end of the year you have something memorized, a little story, a little prayer, a little piece of the Word of God, right? But that's not the only place that we hear the Word of God. So I'm going to say something to all of you now. And this is not just for the kids, this is for the parents too. We know that life is busy. We know that you have so many other commitments, so many other struggles. But we don't only hear the Word of God in Sunday school. We read the epistle, we read the gospel, we preach a sermon before we do any of these things. And this happens about 10, 15, 10, 20 every Sunday. We have to make it a priority to be here on time. If we are late, if we are not here to hear the word of the Lord, then where is the lamp for our feet and the light for our path? We're getting it in little bits in Sunday school. We're getting it all over the place in the liturgy, sure. But we have to be able to make it a priority. I know that if we put our kids on a sports team, and practice starts at 10 o'clock. We understand that if we arrive at 10.45 every time, our kid's going to be off the team. Right? Now, God forbid I kick any child out of Sunday school because they're not here. We're not going to do that. That's not how the church works. But... Is that the only reason we bring our kids on time to school, for sports, for anything? Because if we don't, they'll get kicked out? Our Facebook feeds, our email inboxes, our conversations are full of conversations about how the country is in a decline. 
The churches are getting emptier and emptier. People don't take the faith seriously. At least mine is. Maybe I have a weird inbox. But we have to understand, if we cannot make the Lord and His Word a priority once a week, then we are not part of the solution. However many things we forward, however many things we repost, however many things we like, we are a part of the problem. But we can be part of the solution. We must make the things of God important. So it's not so much that I beg you, although it is important to me, it grieves me when I see the church empty during the reading of the gospel, at the preaching of the sermon. It saddens me when I see people arrive in church only the last few minutes before communion. But it saddens me because I know what will happen if we allow this to continue. If we allow ourselves to do this, if we keep making and accepting the excuses that are very legitimate, they're right. Life is busy, work is hard, it's difficult to get up in the morning, it's nice to be able to sleep in, all these things are true. But if all of us consistently accept these things from ourselves, what do we teach our children? We teach our children that sports and school and work are more important than God. And if this is what we teach our kids, then when they grow up, they will come later, if they come at all. They will imitate our actions, not our words. So please, 1020. If you're not here by 1020 in the morning, you're late. We're not kicking anyone out of Sunday school. I'm not kicking anyone out of the altar. I'm not saying don't come. Come when you can. But we must, we must change our way of thinking. Or else the church will die. Our church, this parish, will die if we do not make God a priority. So kids, take these things seriously. Parents, please take these things seriously. The church is yours. The church is the Lord's. The church is where we meet with God and hear words of life and salvation. So come and receive the blessings of the Lord. And may we all have a good and blessed and joyful year. And I won't talk about these things, hopefully, again. God bless you all. Please stand. Kids, it's time for communion. Remember, since we haven't done this for a while, go to the back and come down the center aisle for communion, all of the kids. But hang on, hang on, hang on, because I just made a mistake. No, I made a mistake, yes. After you go, after you come to, for communion, kids, come back here first because we have to bless you and say a prayer afterwards, and then you're going to go into the activity room for the assembly. So after communion, don't leave. Come back here. We'll bless the Sunday school, and then we go and have the short...